let's make a little video. <coughs> so I'm going to oh, let's delete this first. Now I'm going to use a video that I deleted and uh, that I found on your website. What was again? Google Photos or something? Yeah, I don't remember. But let's dive in it. So I'm going to as usual. Market track, we have a core track. I'm going to use the music start at one. And I'm going to still a motive, motive kind of music, so um, supportive kind of music. Yeah, I'm a little bit into that right now. So that's, this is the kind of music that has no click track, it has no steady pulse almost, and it's very used, used a lot during dialogue scenes. So under uh, speaking. So it's not action at all. So let's see, just set the mood. So cursor at bar one where the music starts. Always keep an eye that put it to linear toggle, linear based, and import the video. Video file. And I think I'm going to where did I put it? Projects videos, I believe. No, this is why I record thing. But now uh, OBS is recording as MKF, MKV um, format. It's going to be um, converted automatically to MP4 the moment they stop uh, OBS. But let's see where I left the. Uh, I always lose my stuff. Really. May night. No. Where did I put the videos? Maybe it's done download. Yeah, when the landscape and so on. It imports immediately. This is a, a, a .mov, a MOV format, and it's ah, it, um, it loads immediately. There you go. Oh, it's upside down, I think. Is it upside down? It's upside down. No, so I have to change it first. I have to bring it uh, around. <laughs> Pity I cannot do this in um, Cubase. Okay, so I, I'm going to pause this video, turn it up to down in in Camtasia, and then I'm going to continue with OBS. I cannot. Yeah, I can pause. I think. Let's see. Okay, so I fixed the video in uh, Camtasia. So let's. And it was just a matter of importing it and export to MP4 immediately without doing anything because in Camtasia the video looks okay. But let's see if it uh, looks okay now here. Import again. This time I place it in another directory. Very first. In the landscape. Yeah. Yeah, now it looks okay. There you go. So I didn't even fix it in Camtasia, I just export and imported it. Imported and exported it. So let's have a look at the video. Okay, um, so there is one forward movement. I'm trying to find no places to some kind of marker movement moments. Uh, so there's a forward movement, and then there's a turning around moment movement. This is more about movements and not actions. So let's see if we can do something with it. But uh, the video, uh, the sound is. I don't mind the, the snow crashing, the footsteps. 
but I don't think it's uh, nice because of the wind blowing. So let's see if we can find um, footsteps for this. Otherwise, I'll just leave it out. And let's have a look if we can find. Um, uh, not this. Uh, footsteps now. Nice stereo. Snowy footsteps. Footsteps. Let's see if I can find this kind of footsteps. Um, import audio file. Where did I leave this? I think I downloaded this free library and I put it sound lab sound effects, yeah. Uh, footsteps. Never leave out with home without it. Urban. It's snowy footsteps. No, I don't think there's a... Oh, okay, this, these are not footsteps. That's the, the name of the of the library, apparently, of the company. So what I do really need footsteps. Footsteps, no. Cough, cough, clap, clap, snap, snap. Forest, maybe. Waterfall, oh here we have footsteps. There's a little bit of wind still, but no. Uh, I think this is the best one. Oh, more footsteps. No. Okay, peeing in the forest. Oh, <laughs> that's special. I think I'm going to use. Um, It's actually almost the same as, as the original soundtrack, ex except that there's not so much blowing wind. But I still prefer this one. So we take it, there it is. Under construction. Let's see. Um, very important that audio tracks, when you work with video, put them on linear. Otherwise, they get disconnected from the video file. So this one should be a little bit longer, so we can believe this one to repeat, yeah. Repeat. Okay. Uh, okay we can yeah, actually delete this track. Yeah. So let's listen how this works. Yeah, do you see the problem? It's not in sync with the movement of the camera. So many little things that are important. So yeah, this there is a way to do this and I just cut out all the, um, cut out all the, um, all the footsteps that are not really needed, so it syncs up a little bit more with, with the original. But do we really want to use more time for this? I think I'm going to focus on the music only and take out, this is really a chapter on, on its own to get this fixed. I think I'm going to focus on the music only for now. So the video. Let's go do, let's make a little bit of music. So let's start with putting the markers, placing the markers on special spots spots. So I find there is an, a forward movement, forward movement and an, an ending of that movement uh, at the birdhouse and then you turn around. So I'm going to work towards those two points. And while watching, I place markers here. 
Mark it should always be linear. Yes, it is. Okay. Movement starts. And um, I place another marker when you arrive at the birdhouse. There and this little squirrel and arriving and then turning and then you arrive here. Okay. Yeah, somehow it feels that we should focus on arrived moments, uh, not on the movement. Okay. I still would like to have a little bit of this sound from the original sound. We're going to um, maybe decrease it. Still too special for the for the atmosphere. And looking at the squirrel here, it is good to give me. These are squirrels, or what? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah. If this could give me inspiration for a little for music. So what we see on our movement here is uh, squirrels. With the cat. Staccato, short, playful. And a slow movement. The turning camera. Um, it could be like... Um, for example, heart piece on the or a horn, to, to progression, something like that. Or a string pad, that's what I feel when I see this camera move. And it should be, of course, wintry. What is wintry? Wintry is. Is it still Christmas? Uh, I want to start with a little bit of atmosphere. Pets. No, I, I, I feel a little bit uh, harp going on here. Harp, where's my harp? Or even celeste, celeste actually. I feel more celeste. Celeste. Feel some kind of uh, let's see, try with this. I'm going to try to keep the moves around 30 minutes. I think it's a nice length. We are now at 13 minutes, so let's see if we can f do it within 30 minutes. like this. <laughs> I really like it. Okay, uh, now my next step is then to place the chords that I use so I don't have to guess the whole time. And I th think I started with D minor. Let's see, D minor. Yeah, D minor, okay. I'm not using click track so it's all over the place but it feels better. D minor, so we add chord, track, D. This is 
D flat minor. Uh, where is it? D flat minor. How can I? Yep, D flat minor. D flat. Oh yeah, for me this is B flat minor. That's confusing. No, B flat. And this is F sharp minor. This is back to D, yeah, D flat minor. Oh, D minor, it's all D minor. So D, B flat, uh, B flat. Yeah. B flat, F sharp. Minor and back to D. Where did I put my D here? Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a cute movement here. Da, da, da. Let's see what I can do with that. Well, let me save it. Save the project. Save the ah, save the as emotive have emotive happy. That's pity. So I overrode the other one. That's pity. Okay. Um. Winter landscape. Oh well, we don't need the old uh, projects. Yeah. So I'm, I'm right now. I'm given focus on this. So I think the moment he moves the squirrel, I want to do something now. But first, let's take um, let's put a little mark there. More space. Okay. Let's see if we can put some extra markers now. And squirrel doesn't go in time. Why is that? School. How do you write squirrel? Okay. Squirrel. Pretty sure it's not correct. But. Okay, the squirrel movement could be some kind of. Uh, uh, Jump and this is a squirrel walk. And it probably walks away because you're coming close. So, well, what is. I should. No, something like this. So what we're doing here, I'm investigating the video on clues for what I can put in as music. Two more squares there, maybe. Okay, I want to have another... The moment you push... Move the camera away. There you go. I think actually this one's. Yeah, the moment you um, move to D, going to put them on the same spot. It's a nice moment. So this is a little bit here, it doesn't need to be exact on the spot. So this is uh, oh here camera swing. So I don't need 
them actually. Okay, and so the squirrels are going to be the 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 main characters in this movie apparently. And I think um, squirrels. I hear little tub tub up, tub up. But it's a little bit like flutes. And the, the squirrel jumps are going to be flat, so something like, like that. Squirrel walk in D. I find this uh, squirrel walk in D. How does he walk? Oh, it's more a run, actually, okay. Running. Squirrel is running. Let's see if we can capture that moment. It feels like. Uh, maybe in a mix, let's see. So bad. Uh, to start in D minor and then I continue B flat a little bit. So. Why does she start to run? Okay, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm thinking. This. Mm, I want. Just jump a little bit on this moment here. Last part, yeah. I want this little jumpy note moment that he jumps. I couldn't find it either. I would like to get my chords here. My chord track. Why can I find my chord? Wait, 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 wait. Was it like here? No. Oh, was it here? Maybe it would be so nice to have my chord track also here. Quartz. Marker quartz. No, I can't find him here. Okay, not too much time. Okay, now I have the, the, the mood and I have a little bit uh, jumping. Oh, yeah, we, I'm going to be flat. Flat, so this should be in the this chord. This no should. Be. What is this here? Yeah, 
Um, yeah, it would be so nice to see the market track here. Let's global tracks. Oh yeah, this is uh, this. I have to remember <laughs> this part. Okay, B flat. This is B flat. Or maybe I can just. to um, to F part of B flat chord harmony so this and this should be also um, let's put this on uh, D flat Okay, now all the notes are B-flat harmony. Uh, a lot of air for the player. Okay. Now we have this. Okay. 26 minutes already. Um, I want to learn this to stay within half an hour. So let's do it. Um, because there's so much little jumping going around, I think I want to stay in that area. Birds, woodwinds. No, it's not birds. I know birds. Um, what else can I put here? that melody here in F sharp in other instruments just to keep it going a little bit you go Peter in a wolf clarinet something like that and this time it's not connected to any action anymore but just as an answer phrase on the flute melody. No, it's too long, too late. Very loud also. Um, where's my flute? These sounds. Um, what else can we use? Why is this so aggressive? Um, oh, the gain is up. Maybe if I just. Pull down the 
the velocity afterwards. Um, let's see, try it again. It's okay, but I find it a little bit. It's just it's, um, multiple based. Okay, so let's pull down the whole multiple because I find the sound too aggressive. I cannot play it soft on my keyboard. But I change the velocity because it's a um, multiple based uh, instrument. But, uh, it doesn't seem to go much lower uh, the, the multiple data. So in this case, I'm going to put. Uh, Velocity, the volume a bit lower. So to match it up with the flute, let's see if it fits a little bit like this. Draw it in a little bit. Uh, let's see. And I'm back here. I think it's much better. And then ta -da -dum, ta -da -dum. something like that. The weird thing is with these, this is east west, and the funny thing is, I hear at the moment I put the volume a little bit lower with the velocity, with the modulation, with the multiple, it changes, it pans to the other side. It's not 100%. Let's see, a little bit overlap to get nice legato, but not too much here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, A little bit moment for grasping the air for the player, just to make it more realistic sounding. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Something like that. Okay. So. Okay. I want to have a little strength. There should be strength and have such a nice uh, arcs here now. So. This is the last thing I'm going to do because I have to start cooking soon. Ah. But this is also nice. Just, it's all a matter of um, just see the process. It's more important than how, mo how many things I put in. My big score I'm making. So let's do a little bit string, arps. 
And we're looking at uh, the chord again, D minor, B flat minor, F sharp minor, and back to D minor. So I'm just going to... Okay, velocity based and modulation based. So I can go to write uh, a little bit velocity, material um, information as well. information in an already recorded arc which oh well there you go okay let's see I think this is the last one I'm going to do because now it's running for 37 minutes so I think it's okay like this one preview and then I'm going to bounce it to video let's have a look let's put um, this. this is the, the bounce area, the market track. So let's have a little preview. It's, it's okay, uh, it's not a master word, but only this last note, this last clarinet note is a little bit too aggressive. Dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, ba and I uh, cannot even go lower with this mod wheel, so I'm just going to... Yeah, that's all I can do. So I, it doesn't go lower than this, funny enough. Hmm. Nothing I can do. Yeah, that's east west it's really maybe part of it, the old age of interest. Okay, I'm going to bounce it now. So we do this by export video, beatwalk, range between the locators, and we're going to export it to February. Where's my. Oh, I really should have a better system. <laughs> In the landscape. Oh, cancel. I uh, went to landscape scoring session. There we go. And it, oh, export. Let's go. It's a very short video, but it works. <laughs> Did I show you my. Uh, oh, let's not uh, <laughs> disturb it. Before it does something that I regret. 
4 seconds, 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 second, and video. There you go. But it's not such a big but The most important thing is that you can see, and also me, I noticed a very interesting side effect that when I do this course, short uh, video scoring, just on the run in the moment, I get much more ideas when I start writing scores. So I think it's also good for my uh, creativity, these kind of sessions. This was it. Okay, let's stop OBS and I'm going to upload it.